If you want to know how you can make the egg collecting mechanic just like egg on 2022 in Roblox Studio, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys, and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel, and in this tutorial, this is part 2 of the Egg Collecting, Egg Hunt, whatever it is, series. In this last part, we will be creating the server script. So in part 1, we created the client script, this enormous long code uh, which will handle the client-sided code. Now, we need the server-sided code, and that is where I come in. And that is what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. And um, this tutorial will make everything work. So if you did, if you do in fact enjoy this tutorial, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, turn on that notification bell, and become a member if you want. And uh, without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. And this script is not too hard. You just need the logical sense for it. But before we start, Go to the link in the description to find out Greenwich DB. We will be sa we will be saving your eggs uh, on uh, Roblox. So just click this icon, copy it, raw contents. Just click it, boop, and now return back to Studio and uh, go to the link in the description. So let's get back to Studio, and now we're back in Studio. So go to Server Storage and create a module script. Give it the name. Greenwich DB. Now, simply just uh, Control A, Control V, just just paste it in, and that is what you want to do. So now let's get to coding. Local players. Let's get the game. Come on, get service players, and then local server storage. Let's get the game. Call on get service server storage. And local replicated storage is the game. Come on, get service replicated storage. And now we need to require Greenwich into our game. So local Greenwich is equals to require server storage. Call on wait for child Greenwich DB. We need a small function for data saving. So local function save data player and we need lo we need the eggs in the player and the eggs is going to be player dot eggs and more on that later on local values is equals to eggs dot lava egg dot value eggs dot vine egg dot value and after that we need to set it so pcal function Greenwich DB colon get DB or Greenwich colon get DB values colon set player the user ID. We're going to save the values table and we are not going to put it onto the cache. We're immediately going to save it up. Now we need the players function. So players the player added colon connect function player. And more on this later on. I will do some explaining in a little bit. Because then you, I, I get it if you got more eggs than I did. So now local eggs. Is equals to instance.new. A folder. Into eggs.name. Is equals to eggs. Eggs.parent. We're going to put this into the player. Player. Local values is equals to instance.new, a folder, and this folder is called values, so values.name is equals to values, values.parent is equals to player. Local debounce, we're going to be creating an a individual debounce system. So local debounce is equals to instance.new, a bool value, which is a true or false statement, debounce.name. Is equals to debounce. Debounce the parent is equals to values folder, and debounce that name is equals to debounce. Uh, wait, no, not name. That value is equals to false. Now we need the two eggs. 
So local lava egg is equal to instance that new a bool value lava egg dot name is equal to lava egg and lava egg dot parent is equal to eggs. So the lava egg is going to be in eggs. Now copy this and paste it and change lava egg to fine egg because we got a lava and a fine egg and change this to fine egg. Make sure you change this one too. Now we need some data handling. So local data and leave it empty. PCAL function. We need a PCAL function to, to uh, detect any errors. And then if we get errors, we will simply be uh, doing nothing. So data is equal to Greenwich colon get db. We're going to get the values database. And we're going to get that from our player that user ID. Now this is here, this is here going to be a simple part. So if data and data one. So data one is the first thing in here. So data, so this is actually data one, and this is data two, and then another one would be data three, and then this one would be four, then you got five, you got six, you got seven, you get the point. Uh, so we'll just leave that in there. So that is what I mean with that. And then lava egg, that value. So if you got data, then we'll set that data. And if you don't, we'll set the value to false. Now if data and data two, so if you got if you own the fine egg, then the fine egg will be set to our data two uh, index. And then else uh, fine egg that value six to false. If you don't have any data, we'll set it to false. And now we need a, a small script. So player dot character added colon connect function character and then local humanoid is equals to character dot humanoid and then simply humanoid dot use jump power is equals to true because uh, in our in part one over here uh, use jump power over here, we're making sure uh, you have jump power on so we can uh, stop you from moving. Now we need a lava egg colon get property change signal on the value of it. We're going to connect that into a function of nothing. And then all we'll do is save data. We'll save your data. And then do that again, but change lava egg to fine egg. You're done with this part. We need to do two more parts and then we're done already. So players, the player removing, this is the first part. So players, the player removing, clone connect, function, player, and then Greenwich, colon get db values, colon save, player.user id. So when you leave, we'll also, we'll give a signal to the save data value and then tell it to save your data. Now we need to determine whenever an egg has been touched. So, eggs touching. You know, if you touch this egg, then that will happen, blah, blah, blah. So, for underscore, comma, v in pairs, workspace, dot eggs, colon, get children do. So, we're going to loop through everything that's in this egg folder. Uh, we'll do a v that touched colon connect function of an object because an object is touching it. Then if players colon get player from character object dot parent then so if we immediately can find out a player of it and copy this then a player local player is going to be the exact same. And then a local debounce, the individual debounce we just created, local debounce is equals to player that values that debounce that value. And then we will check if debounce is equals, equals to false. So if you don't, if, if your debounce is off, we will enable your debounce. 
and then uh, so if not player that eggs v dot name dot dot egg that value then so let me hear hear me out hear me out what we're doing here we're checking if you do not own for example the lava egg and if you don't we will send out a remote event to the to the client saying hey we don't have it yet give it us give it to us and then you want to type replicated storage dot remote events dot handler call a fire client we've got to fire it to the player we're going to fire the new egg to like the new egg which uh, will set the egg and we are going to fire v and v is the egg because for icon v you're touching an egg egg dot touched and then if you don't own egg dot name then we will fire the new egg uh, parameter with the egg and then you can simply copy this and then is it true because you now you own it and we will disable your debounce now lastly else if the exact same so if you do own it all we're gonna do is fire this remote event again but change new egg to already egg because you already have the egg and then we will also disable your debounce so this is the tutorial it is really easy and I know I went by really fast but it should not be too hard you can always pause the video so actually let's test this out so let's play uh, let's click play here as you can see there's actually one thing I forgot you want to go to a uh, starter player you want to go to uh, start your character scripts and want to in you want to insert a local script and call this the egg rotation This is something I completely forgot and it just popped in my mind So local run service Is it the game going get service run service? run service dot stepped run service dot render stepped call a connect function so task dot wait zero point zero one because every zero point zero one will fire this for underscore comma v in pairs workspace that eggs colon get children do v dot c frame times equals so times shift eight times equals c frame that from Euler angles x i z zero by point five by point zero five actually by zero. Now, when we join the game, watch what happens. Let me just turn around for a second. And are you ready? And three, two, one, boom! As you can see, they are now rotating. As you can see, it's like, hey, I want an egg. So let's test it out. As you can see, let's get the console next to us. Let's go over the lava egg. So let's do it. As you can see, boom, egg collected. And it pops up and it rotates exactly what we wanted. And it fades away immediately. That is really cool. And as you know, we got the lava egg now. And now let's get the vine egg too. Boom, egg collected. It shakes. Egg collected squeezes up to, into, the, into the, um, the top. And the frame pops up. And after a few seconds, it disappears. Now, because we own the eggs, uh, we can just, uh, so when we touch the eggs right now, we already own them. As you can see, if we go to, into our values, uh, eggs, lava egg, as you can see, we got the lava egg already. So if we go over the lava egg again, it only destroys. Now, you can, as you can see, we already have fine eggs, so boom, 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 and boom. And that is how easy it is. And let me just see what I can do in the thing I'm crashing. Never mind, I'm not. And I believe if we click play, and I don't know if data saves. I don't hope so, but... Okay, it does. As you can see, our data saved. Which means that if we go over the eggs now, as you can see, we have the eggs already, even when we rejoin. And which means we can collect the eggs and just walk straight through them. So this is the small series on the eggs. 
And if you did, in fact, enjoy this tutorial and enjoy this small series, make sure to leave a like if you like it, give a dislike if you dislike it, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and uh, become a member if you want, do everything you want. All I can say is that my name is Doobie, and I say, peace out. Happy early Easter.